It's an invasion, but of the cute kind. Hundreds of sea lions have made their way to the Silver Strand Beach in Oxnard. The mass migration is making a splash in the community. KTLA's John <laughs> Finolio joins us live from Silver Strand Beach with what's causing the new neighbors to move in. And John, we were hoping you had another live interview for us. <laughs> Samantha, Rick, good evening to you once again. We do, in fact, now we don't want to disturb these guys too much because they are bedding down for the night. But if we pull the camera closer and we look over the seawall right here, these guys are right here. You can see that they are bedding down for the night. Uh, they're in groups of about six. Hi, good evening to you. I know that light is bright and we probably shouldn't bother you too much. I'm very sorry. They're grouping in about uh, in pods of about six or so, but further down the beach, you can see hundreds and hundreds of these beautiful mammals all gathered together. The reason for their presence has a lot to do with human influences. Whether you're strolling or sailing along Silver Strand Beach, make way for the sea lions. This is their place. And I feel honored that they've chosen to be here. Connie Kornstein lives across the street from Kitty Beach, a popular people destination during the summer. But a few months ago, the sea lions started moving in. People come and look at them for hours and hours. And you can do that because they are, they're just so beautiful. They're magnificent creatures. Yeah. And they're not a problem. And they're not a nuisance. Now hundreds of mostly young sea lions are calling this beach home, at least for now. There's just so many of them. Yeah. Like, I've never seen this happen before. Yeah. Ten-year-old Weston is visiting his grandmother. Until recently, this beach is where they'd go swimming. Tell me what it smells like out here. It kind of smells like poop. But not everyone is bothered by it. I mean, that's how they smell, so yeah. big deal, you know? Yeah, it's like, deal, right? you go out, some people smell the ocean and they're like, ew, and some people like, mm. Of course, the sea lions have always been here. But why are they turning up in such large numbers? Sam Dover is the founder and chief veterinarian of Channel Islands Marine and Wildlife Institute. He says human interaction is the number one contributor. We do have a lot of construction along the coastline. There's work being done in the Channel Islands of Ventura Harbor as, as they're, they're rehabbing the place. And a lot of animals that would normally be on docks or remote places are now being displaced because of the construction, the human activity, and so they're finding other places to haul out. Climate change is also a factor. Our oceans absorb the majority of excess heat generated by greenhouse gases, leading to rising ocean temperatures. That in turn affects marine ecosystems. In this case, it's the food the sea lions rely on that's impacted. The fish that they feed on, primarily anchovies, sardines, mackerel, they follow the colder water. So as the water warms in the southern part of the state, the fish move north to stay with the colder water and the sea lions follow the bait fish that they feed on. And back here live along the Silver Strand, Kitty Beach in Oxnard, you can see the sea lions here are still laying down. They are resting for the night. They are such beautiful animals and it is so cool to be this up close to see them. Now, we want to remind our viewers, and this is something that the marine biologists and local authorities out here have been saying all day long, and that is as wonderful as it is to be able to get up close and personal with these animals, they are wild animals and they will bite if they are threatened in their space. So while it's okay to come and look, uh, authorities stress it is not okay to get too close to these animals and that's why they want everyone when they come out here to proceed with caution of course don't agitate them don't feed them and just treat them with a lot of respect because they are clearly in distress as much of their natural habitat is um, currently uh, being destroyed or at least uh, at least uprooted as uh, some of the dredging of the harbor continues and then of course all the other reasons we talked about in this report climate change and and other factors as well that's the latest from here in Ocknard. i'm john finolio i'll send it back to you guys in hollywood they're cute to look at they're so cute they are john thanks for that thanks, live john. interview we appreciate you hey we hope you did